Welcome! In this video I'm going to be exploring if Tinkercad will run on a Raspberry Pi 4. So if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So the hardware I am using is a Raspberry Pi 4 4 GB model, and if it works on this it should work on the 8 GB model too. I don't know if it would work on the 2 GB model. So if you're not familiar with Tinkercad, it's an online CAD software. It runs in a web browser, so you can design models in there, and then you can export them, and then 3D print them, or do whatever. So I'll open up Chromium here. And I'm on Raspberry Pi OS desktop, and I installed this a while ago, but I ran the updates on it, so it should be up to date as of January 2021. So I'll go to Tinkercad. So you do have to have an account to get in here, and I already have one, so I'll hit sign in. I'll use email or username. So I'm going to enter my email and password, but I'll skip this in the video so I don't have to edit it out later. Okay, so it's signing in. And I've recently rebooted this, so I haven't been using this for hours and have lots of uh, RAM being used. It should work right off the bat. Okay, that loaded okay. I'm running my monitor at 1080p. I'll make this full screen here. I'll say create a new design, and I'll just try designing something in here. So I run this on a couple different computers. I run it on my Mac Mini M1. I run it on my MacBook. And my kid runs it on his school-provided Chromebook. And it's a Chromebook X360, I think, by HP. I could be wrong on that. Okay, let's try and draw something. Here's a box. I'll set it on here. Drag the corners. And I'm not an expert at using this, so I may screw up here and there. Okay, that worked pretty good. I'll drag a work plane here onto the side. Oops. Now I want to add some cylinders here for wheels. I'll make like a car. Okay, so we have a car with some wheels on one side. I haven't noticed any lag in this as such. Now on my Mac, I hold down the Option key and I can drag and copy, and I'm not sure how to do that on here. I've tried a couple different keys. Let me try again. That's not working. That's Alt. There's the Windows key. That's not working. I'll do Control. That's not working, and I'll do Shift. So I'm not sure if it has that copy key. Yeah, there's a little bit of weirdness here, but that's me, because I don't exactly know how, what I'm doing here. So I will group these two wheels together. I want to copy these wheels to the other side. I might need to change my plane again. Let me see it change the workspace. There we go. Let's try that. So I want to butt these up against this side here. I don't think it snaps but I can take my work plane and place it on there, and then I can drop these down. Oops, hit the wrong way.
then I can drop these down and they should, if I can do this right. Oh, there we go. Did I get it on there? <laughs> I'm not sure I got that right, but. Okay, there's a basic car shape. Seemed like there was a little bit of lag there. Let's put the work plane here. We'll put a roof on that. I'll rotate that. I guess it'll be like a little cyber truck looking thing. There we go. So I'll import a model here. Maybe there's some kind of a shape or something. It's a character. Here's a skeleton skull. Let's place that on here somewhere. So scaling locked on it. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Let's just place that on the car here. Okay. So now I'll try exporting it. We'll export it as STL. And there it downloaded. Yeah, I don't have anything to open up an STL file right now. Now let's see, I'll go back to basic shapes. And I'll put a cylinder in here. Like so. That's not centered or anything, but if I can make that bigger, and I'll slide the whole thing through, and now I'll select all these parts and I'll group them together. And then the hole should appear. There we go. So it also has a Minecraft mode. I think that's what that little thing is. It's called blocks. I don't know much about this. I can't really demonstrate that very well. Then it has like a Lego kind of mode, like so. Oh, and here we have a representation of what I drew. That's interesting. <laughs> so if you want to make it out of Lego, that's what it looks like. Let's do a little text on here. I'm not real sure how to edit this text. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. 
We have the scribble mode. Let's see what this does. Okay, I click that and it seems to be lagging. Okay, it's bringing this interface up. So now I can draw something. Okay, and there's the squiggle. It seemed like it was going a little bit slow there, but it was usable. I mean, if this is what you're working with, I think it would work. Let's do this. Paraboloid. Let's pull that on here. Oops, I grabbed both of those pieces for some reason. I thought I was only grabbing the one. So we'll make the paraboloid a whole. Then we'll group the two pieces together. Now if I look under here, it should be kind of curved underneath. It is it's kind of hard to see, but it is. So I'm scrolling here. There's a little bit of lag, but it works. It's not bad. I think that's all I'm going to draw. I don't want to bore people. I could probably do this for an hour drawing random things on here, but you can see it seems to work for the most part. I don't know if I put more elements on there if it would slow down to the point where it would be unusable. But if you're wondering if this runs at all on the Pi, it apparently does. So. So I think that's kind of neat that you can take a relatively cheap computer and do CAD on it. I remember back in the day, you would have to have a what they would call a workstation or a very powerful desktop computer to do CAD work. And prior to that, you would probably need like a mainframe or something. Now there's probably other 3D software that you can use, but Tinkercad's really nice because you can save everything in the cloud and then you can share with people, you can collaborate. You can go over here to this little person thing and you can share it with other people. So you could design a model on your Mac or PC and then where your 3D printer is, say it's in your garage or your basement, you could have a Raspberry Pi computer down there. And if you need to pull the model up to edit a couple of things before you print it, you can easily do that on the Raspberry Pi. That's a nice option. Or you could do all your work on the Raspberry Pi. And like I said, this is a four gigabyte model. The eight gigabyte model should work too. I'm guessing the two gigabyte model would work, but I don't have one to test, so I can't see how well the performance is. If you have one and you test it, drop a comment below. I'd be interested to hear how it works. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.